Hello and welcome to uh, Under Depths of Fear. Uh, now, this is about a two hour horror game, so I'm probably going to do it and split it into two parts. Uh, so, probably about an hour each. Yeah, look, I, I want to do a story explain on this one. So I'm going to do a gameplay on this channel and the story explain will be over on the other channel and make sense to split it up like that. So uh, without further ado, let's just um, get into it. I'm not entirely sure what to expect. Subtitles. No? Okay, cool. All right, anyway, let's just go. Let's, uh, let's get into it. Apparently it's very jump scare heavy, this one. It had an update last month. Um, so apparently there's a lot more jump scares. So um, I guess it's going to be good. The Great War has now rumbled over Europe for three consecutive years. Its horrors have claimed over 10 million lives. The life expectancy of an average soldier in the trenches is now merely six weeks. Oh, there's another horror game called Trenches, isn't there? That's quite good. Uh, as the entirety of the waters around the United Kingdom are now a war zone, German U-boats have already sunk over 4,000 vessels, both military and civilian. Celtic Sea. So a couple of you have said positive things about this game to me. Despite its kind of mixed reviews. I guess we'll find out uh, what what this is uh, what this is like. What's going on? I'm in a sort of wheelchair. What's going on. Bloody hell! The blasted door will not open anymore. We can't carry the damn bastard up on the stairs. I leave the bloody fool. No use for a man like him at home. Leave the bloody fool. This has left me. Okay. I see how it is. Leave the bloody fool. Fine, lads. I'll be on my own. These douchebags. Wow. Oh pretty tall. Well, I got very blurred vision. Oh, am I like... What's it? Long-sighted, short-sighted, staff mess. Okay. Pick up. An infantry water flask. Oh, nice. So I can drip. Oh, I was dehydrated. Makes sense. Can I zoom in to look? Okay, right, anyway, this looks good. Visually looks good. Got me to get spooked. I love being spooked, you know me. Right, so... I don't want to miss anything. I want to get the full scope of the story about what what's going on. So we're in the Celtic Sea. And I'm on a ship. A boat. Um, but they said leave me, so something's obviously kicked off. Uh into something to do with uh, maybe a ghost ghost a ghost or something I can't get any of these doors stuff that's locked so I imagine I'll have to find a key at some point for that kind of stuff here we are our vessel has been struck by a German torpedo as of 2345 right so the ship's been struck Ac evacuations have been put in place please meet on the boat deck okay so I need to get to the boat deck Right, I need a combo for that. Right, okay. I don't have a flashlight yet. Get through. This door needs a key. Right. I need a combo lock. Uh, it's not on the back of this, is it? Wow, shiny paper. Shiny ink. Fresh. Alright, cool. Anyway... So I need to... Ah, I can open doors. Flipping heck. Box of three matches can be lit with... What did it say? Right mouse button. Oh, so I can open doors. Right, okay. Let's go and check the rest of these doors out then. Oh, can't get in that one. Nope. Right, there's no other doors, is there? Okay, right, let's go back. Um... I think that's it in terms of doors. There's no combination in here, is there? A defiled photograph of a platoon. Why are the faces all rubbed out and stuff? It's a bit weird. It's 
Very strange, that. Ah. Okay, let's go. I don't know. Oh, look, down here. I guess. I need this match so I can see where I'm going. Oh, hang on. There we go. What did it do that for? Oh, look what we got here. Uh, I mean not to boast, but feast your eyes on this glorious ship they are transporting us on. First class. Wow, oh, that's locked. Anything here? No. Let's use my match again. Wait, someone's locked the door. What the hell? Someone's locked me in. Oh, the music's getting a bit more sinister. I can't get in there, can I? Oh, shoot. What do I do then? The music's getting creepy. Maybe this door's open now. Oh, crap. Oh, the hell? I'll read this first, please. My witness statement. As the morning sun lit up the fields, the Scottish boys lined up for combat. For their sake, my heart was beating out of my chest. As the deafening sound of the bagpipes playing Scotland the Brave echo through the trenches, the boys climbed over the top seemingly without a doubt. After all of them were gone, I saw one man remain. He sat there, crying. Their, office, their officers screamed at him to no avail, the man remained. The last thing I saw was how the officer knocked, on, knocked him with his pistol and then followed his own troops. Right then, I guess let's go through here. Shut up! Right. What does it say? I have to put the text on there for this one. Dear family, I've been on this ship for a total of two days now and been disturbed by some of the events that take place beyond closed doors. Starting on the first night down the hallway in one of the wards, there has been noticeable com commotion of the crew and incredibly loud, agonising screaming coming from a singular voice. This has been the case for two nights now, and when inquired about, the crew tells... Mm. An unfinished letter. Right. Got any matches? I'm running out of matches. It's not like uh, the beast inside where I've got a plentitude of matches. I'm actually running out. Oh, it's open now. Great. And this door's open as well. What have we got in here? Lock number six, aft gate. Right, number six. Scroll mouse to rotate. Okay. Yes! Locked. Okay, what have we got in here? Critical med medical file three, iron rod case. Unknown cavalry soldier found conscious with four foot nine iron rod planted through brain. Patient was transported to nearest departure to England within 12 hours of discovery. Day one of transport, patient conscious but clearly delusional as a result of grave brain injury. Noted to be rambling about morbid topics regardless of commands and requests to stop such vocalizations. Day two of transport patients started developing infection around the ruined area and slowly started screaming that developed into a continuous scream of agony. Patient was given rum and later morphine to no result. Night of day two, patient was found dead in his ward bed. Deceased. <laughs> I know. I know. He left me. What's 
stood there then. Oh, look at that. An x-ray of a hand. This is now open. And Abby. Got a key. Keys to a door. Means to an end. Now I've got to find the door to the key. Oh, it's going to be left. What the f... Just go. Oh, look, we've got some more stuff. Board officer's instruction binder. Control to crouch, apparently. Uh, okay. Right, so we can crouch. Oh, look, we can get in there. Okay, right, so... What's this key for, then? Or did I already use the key on this door? I got an inventory. No. Okay. Very basic. I'm I'm down to my, my last match after this. Some doors are breakable by running into the. Oh, there we go. Access door under repair. Do not run into door. All right. Oh, great. We're going down into the bowels of the ship. Main room. I don't want to use a match because I'll be stuck in the pitch black if I don't find any more. The door needs a key. Right, obviously not the one I have. There we go. Oh yes, got some matches. Three, three matches. Right, so I, I guess in the the guy with the, <clears throat> the four foot nine pole through his head. There's someone on the other side of that door. Oh look, he's the locked door. Oh shoot, shoot! Is it this one?
Right, okay, well, there's no one there now. Right, it's probably for the keys for this door here. Anyone in here? No. Okay. Good. I've got the keys for this door. Alright. Down here, a life jacket. Do I need it? Obviously not. Anything else? So I, I think that the gramophones are kind of like the law. They tell you about what's what's happening in the way this is recordings by the ship mates or whatever. People on the boat. Ah, oh, cool. So we got some <clears throat> sorry, some boxes here. But I'm not sure what what the Oh here we are, look. Uh, when lights are illuminated, generators are running. Okay, so I gotta where else that one? No, hang on. There we go, that's that one. That's that one. And there we are. it on what's happening the hell you wish you all right hang on I gotta I gotta do something like turn something up there we are Engine room. Right. I wonder what this is all about. I mean, the guy who had the, the, the pole stuck through his brain was talking about more, like, pretty morbid stuff. <laughs> Back alive. That scared the crap out of me. So yeah, he was pretty talking about apparently talking about morbid stuff, which uh, was annoying his uh, his his colleagues and stuff. So uh, this way to the stern. What did they say we needed to meet on the stern on the on the boat deck, wasn't it? Because uh, but they just left me the the Burks. They all had to do was give me a, a nearby glass of water, and I was fine. This is very creepy, though. Wait, did I just see something? I swear I just saw something duck down there. What the hell? Oh, it's flooding. Oh, crap. I've got to get up. It's flood yeah, it's flooding. Shoot. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Turn that off. And now hopefully I can get through there. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I've got to go down the, down the ladder again. Come on, bro, come on. We can do it. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Here we are. Come on, move it. Move it. What the hell? Let me get up. I'm stuck, bro. May, would let me move it. Let me get up. It's literally there. Come on. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, bro, it's oh, it's glitched and I can't move the table. Blooping flip. Oh, it's done, mate. Uh, it's so glitchy. 
Oh, do I just move? No, I can't. Let me get in the... Now you're letting me move it. I'm real. Just let me... Let me do... If this is what they mean by the jump scares, it's pretty, uh... Pretty lame. What's going on? Oh, look, it's the, the hat with the things to his brain. Alexander will not be saved. Just say. One more man, soul. One more man would have saved my soul. I mean, do you want me to... What do you want me to do? Go back. Oh, look, there's more. There's more stuff. Am I meant to... Am I meant to just... What am I meant to do here now? I couldn't get past that other thing, so... What am I supposed to be doing? Do I go back there? I don't know whether this is the place I'm supposed to be going. I mean, oh, we're 20, 24 minutes in, according to my recording, and nothing's really happened yet. So I've heard a couple of creepy breathing occurrences, but at the moment it's, it's just a little bit stale. It's lacking something. So I'm not feeling it, but we'll, we'll persevere. I've just, I've just wasted a match. Oh, okay, up there. happening is this because it's oh yeah that's right the boat's sinking in it and it by a torpedo a german torpedo projector slide okay i'm running to this can't i there we are that's how you get through there uh who's absent is it you i don't know the horror's absent at the moment if i'm honest oh gosh great what do I do here then? Right, so we got a bit of a flood going on here. Right, okay, let's just uh I guess let's just pull some some levers and hope for the best. All of them. Did it is that what it did? Okay. Right. Interesting. I hope something spooky is going to start happening. It's officially barrel season. Safe. I keep pressing it. Trying to... Because other some horror games, you... You press the left, the right mouse button to zoom in on stuff, but with this, it's it's light a match, which is a really really strange um, key bind, but like binding to have to the to the right mouse button. Thank you. Oh, I gotta do it again. Great. Oh come on. Right, now now I can't get through it because it's glitched. Ah, oh, for fuck, you're kidding me. Let's move out of the way. I'm not doing it all again. Can I drown myself? Can I go back down and drown myself? I can't, I'm stuck up here now.
I can, uh, I can't get through there. Can I, um, if I have to start all over again, I'm not going to be happy. Oh, I can continue, good. Right, so where am I continuing from? Wait, up here. So hopefully the, the door will work this time. I got my match back as well, which is good. There we are, I'm through! Okay, so what does this say? Today was our, dear Amelia, today was our first day on the front since we arrived from training. I'm quite impressed by the conditions, not all as bad as I expected. I must insist we have to visit France after this war is over. Anyway, after mostly getting our trenches combat ready, I gathered with my platoon members and I have to say that I get along quite well with these traps. We have a shared spirit for adventure, although there is one man in particular who quite concerns me. I believe his name to be Alexander. This is the guy with the pole through his head. He visualises a man who has no ambition for this war and worst of all, already seems frightened throughout the entirety of the day. I'm truly hoping that he will man up. Our officer clearly told us that every man needs to work together for our platoon to be combat effective. I write you soon with love. Thompson. I hope his first name's Thompson and he's not referring to himself as, a, as his last name to his own girlfriend. Here we are, right. There's uh, anything here I can read. No? Okay. Oh, it's this weird. This not be a solitary topic for you. Before your departure, there's a need for you to dispense with me. Now tell me. I heard them speak of it. He was there. There was always general word of his existence. Put on this earth to chase the those who bent for themselves only. Never had I seen them. Now when did you hear of him? And what was the name he went by? What don't. They spoke of him after a murder was committed. After countless lives were lost to the actions of one. They said he roamed dead man's land. Slowly peering into every man's life or body. Those who still live, lived no more after he had passed. Searching he was, they said. But the one who sided with his very own country, Lucifer himself. Therefore, listen, you can hear the plumbing hoofs. Now, these are just dark tales, possibly from you alone. Therefore, to speak of evil this way. One doesn't know the terrors of sudden death until you see it. I haven't seen any yet, mate. Darkness arises long before men are buried in their graves. Those common people find those of guilt. Okay, take it. Sweep it. This will not construct our world. Make sure it's gone. You wear the sound of the cloves, right? But to my, to my dearest family, it is my face grim. This morning when dawn arose, a Scottish unit went over the top. Those screams and shots will never leave my mind, poor soul. Someone behind me? No, there isn't. Uh, the most peculiar thing happened, though. Two moons ago before their departure, some of the lads kept our spirits up with some of that strange Scottish banter. They spoke of this legend called Black Donald, a goat-like creature only Lucifer himself. Containing only Lucifer, so the devil lives in this goat-like creature. He is someone when one put, lets others down, and when one puts their own life before others. After the slaughter happened this morning, our unit peeked over the dugout and saw this dark goat walk over no man's land. His walk was eerily slow and his steps sounded like wooden clothes echoing in the dead fields. Soon after he was gone, when you read this, know that my thoughts are with you all, love James. Alright, so that apparently is the, the thing containing Lucifer. And that is the another picture, and that's uh, Black Donald picking the souls of those who were not saved. Excellent. And there's a poem about Black Donald, a story from a girl I'll tell, meant my brother fell into a well. My father looked upon the sight and did not move or help his fright. A very night, his cloven feet walked on upon our house to meet. My father then he turned and screamed, till Donald turned his soul to hell. <laughs> Donald! Alright, fine. Donald, you out here? Of course you're not, you pussy. It's a weird game so far. What we got here? G deck mid aft store vessel jail. Interesting. 
forward. Alright, what's up? Nothing! Nothing is up. Alright. Hello! Uh, British Ammunition Transport. Commission for Transport on the RMS Validus. Uh, the Borough Pier Line. G-Deck Storage Alls. Anything? Dare not turn around. Oh, God, here we go. Hello! All right. Dare not turn around. Bit of a... Uh, that's some pomade. Marmalade. Cup of that on your hair. Who's there? Who's there? Hang on. I've got to push. There's probably something behind here. No. No. Oh, there we are. Right, where's this douche? There we are. Right, okay. Wasted a match then. I could have just seen that. There we are. I'm a man of wasted matches. Very good. What does this say? Kitchens. Oh, nice. Hang on, what's down here? The room there. Unlocked with a key. Right, so that's what we need to find. No, that's a little locked. Okay. Anything else? In here? No. Can I go in here? No. Have I tried that one? Probably. I need to go in the kitchen then. It's the only way. Oh, there's something I can read there. Hang on. Crew meal times. Wait, what's this say? Cleaning crew meets in this location on Wednesday morning. Ah, oh, it's nothing, nothing important. I have to go around. I think. What does this say? Standard lamb chop on Sundays. Oh, it's wartime transport meal rations. Two thirds of a pound. Maconochi stew. Rum serving, water serving, and a green bread serving. Oh, mate. Officers and general's got loads of food. Slightly wrong, isn't it, eh? Just because you're a general doesn't mean I have a bigger belly than me. No, it should be equal. Rats. Oh, look, matches. Need them. Those. Crouch under tables for hide from danger. Okay. What danger? I haven't seen any danger in this game yet, apart from a man creeping around a door. Anything? Okay. The All right, so the lights just turned off. Okay. No biggie smalls. There's definitely going to be someone in here. In this little corridor. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, they're so scary! Whoa. I can't believe how scary that was. I was quaking. I guess when you've like... I've played as many horror games as I have. Sometimes it just it just gets lost on you a little bit. The bar 
for me was set um, on oh god on games like um, Alien Isolation and um, Visage, you know, games like that set the bar for me, and I don't think I think that was the standard by which you make a horror game. Um, Outlast as well, you know. Um, there's just oh, I'm stuck in here now. I want to get out of there. I can't get out of there. There's an invisible wall now. Okay, cool. Have to go over here and just listen to this. What does this say? Daddy, what did you do in the Great War? Okay. Oh wow. Okay, well that's just. Can I? Can I? Okay, no, maybe I can't. Great. So we got a load of graves. Mm, apparently I can't leave. Can't leave. Let's go out this way. Uh, do I just go? Oh, look, there's a note here. On our lights. Oh, look. Can turn it off? No, you can't. That was weird, because this, this room was completely empty when I came in here. Alas, I'm stuck now, anyway. So, something up with. So, the, the gist of the, what we've got so far is that the. There's something up with Alexander. Alexander's a bit weird. Um, our vessels are here to serve. Yeah, there's only one thing you're serving, is the bottom of the ocean. Right. What's this? Uh, corpse of Highland Platoon member was retrieved after fatal attack in order to implement medical revitalization experiment following procedure according to Second Life Act. This Alexander, face was successfully masked with plastic reconstruction before revitalization procedure. Procedure deemed unsuccessful after revitalization left patient with animalistic tendency. <laughs> Great. Patient is to be returned to state of deceased on night before return to mainland. Right, okay. So they, they did something on, I'm guessing, Alexander. Wow. Grim. Nice, oh, got some more matches. Right. I can't, I can't go down that way. Let's go up this way. So the G deck, which is currently filled with water, door needs a key. So it's going to tease and probably be downstairs in the, on the G deck. I probably need to grab it before everything floods. Down here? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Lot of doors. There we are. Thank you very much. Open the door for me. Hang on, what's down here? Nothing. Dead end. There's a lot of cool posters, though. I'd say that. It's really in keeping with the times. Oh, look what we've got here. Uh, Priest Mackay's statement in response to questions posed by post-operative patient Alexander Doctor. Father, since the falling of the night, I have seen my comrades, those who have passed in no man's land, standing at the foot of my bed. Their faces are blue and dry, standing in silence, staring into my eyes. Please help me to understand their presence. The priest said, Child, I must agree with your doctors. You have undergone an operation of great progress. As your mind heals, it will confuse that which is real with that which exists only in the realm of the disturbed mind. Alexander, but it's them. I am sure of it. Such a vivid sight cannot be spawned in my mind. F. If what you state is truly reality, is it possible? It is possible, though unlikely, that your lost comrades have not entered the heavens that lay beyond this world. Perhaps a sin that went unresolved along with the life that was ended before its time. They may seek for closure, perhaps revenge, controlled by hatred towards one that might be to blame. Alexander said, If this is true, what is there to be done? The father replied, Only God and the fallen may know what happens to souls. Not what happened to souls that are lost to the unfortunate. Rest easy, though. Your mind will recover to show the truth. 
So I'm guessing that now that I'm Alexander, and that's why I'm seeing all this stuff. Because he's seeing, like, um, you know, his, his comrades or whatever. Um, and he's seeing spooky stuff uh, that other people aren't seeing. Um, I write to you with great regret, regret regarding the recent passing of our valued Lieutenant Davies during an aggressive over-the-top charge into Noma. What? It's like all I felt was that sting for a shake of my doom, so watching you sleep, watching me, watching you breathe. The closest a man can walk among the dead. Can you hear us? The sound of eternal torment, the sound of all souls drowning in the flames. Listen to our screams, listen to our eternal dance, Davies. Yeah, it's slightly creepy. No table died under. Very nice. Who put this here? Hey? Who put that there? Is that me? I've got a fine moustache. It's grim. Follow it. Hello? Lanky? That's some, uh... Interesting monster design, isn't it? I'll let this bit open up now. Great. Well, I haven't got a key, so... I didn't even get to read the full letter, innit? I'm proper gutted about that. Alright, anyway, let's keep looking for a key. He's escaped the grave. He will never escape those left he left to rot. We're always behind you. Just watch. Some kind of message. For me? Yes, because I am... Uh, Alexander, I guess. And I had a... I was impaled through my head. So I guess I've just got to keep following this creepy dude. Oh look, we got. Oh yes, we got key. Okay, so that's gonna that's gonna open up stairs for us. All right. Oh, and look, I got another key. Wait, is that? No, I can't grab that. Order of Battle on Western Front. 11 a.m. November 11th. Secret. I right, fine. It's just to go back upstairs now. Up here. Cargo lift, passage. Where was my uh, stare? The cleanest fighter in the world, the British Tommy. Clean chivalrous fighting instincts of our gallant soldiers reflect the ideals of our business life. The same characteristics which stamp the British Tommy as the cleanest fighter in the world have won equal repute for British goods. Sunlight soap is typically British. Smell like Britain. Go back. Somewhere or other. Luxuries of first class. Oh, look at that. Am I going to experience first class at some point? I bloody hope so. Oh, crap. I need to get out. I do genuinely need to get out. Because this place is flooding big. Oh, crap. Crap. I've been hamming around looking at posters. Stairs to deck. Is this it? Oh, crap. I need to get out. I need to get out. I need to get out. Which way is it? He's locked the door. I swear it's this. Oh, no. I'm dead. I'm very dead. Shoot. Come on, bro. Try every door. I recognise that. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Am I going to die? Oh, mate. 
I don't know way out. I gotta get out. I don't know how. I don't know how to get out. I'm definitely dying. Do I need to get under a gate somewhere? Mate, I'm screwed. Again there? No. Dude. I'm not having a good time. Oh no! I'm dying! Dead. There might be ways to escape under the water surface. Thought, thought, step, thought there might. Here we are, I found the hole. There was a hole under there the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> Great, all right. Uh, guns. Hmm. I want the guns. Oh, it's going there. I want a gun, man. Don't need to use a match. Just look for the light. Down there, somewhere. Here we are. Wait. Fine, I'll use a f***ing match. Here we are. Drop down. Wait. Where am I now? Great. More creepy bastards to deal with. Don't need a key. Electrical supplies. And I'm going to fry them all to death, am I? Oh, that's nice. Electrical room. Oh, hello. Another key. Breaker box need a fuse, but it's probably going to be in the electrical room. Which is somewhere up here. There we are, electrical supplies. Classic. There we are, we got a fuse. Put it back in here. Turn it on. Okay, well, I guess... Here we are. Okay. What now? Oh, hang on. Cargo lift. Cargo lift one. Cargo lift two. Do I need to get a lift? Or do I need to... What's the game here? A, what's the aim? Am I being lifted? Oh, we are. I am being lifted. Good stuff. Oh, nice. This looks like a nice part of the ship. Anything over here that I need to read? Nothing. Okay. Fine. I'm just, uh, I'm in a posh part of the ship now. The posh part? Weird game. So far, I mean, not much has happened. And we found out a little bit, like, I think I'm Alexander and I've somehow got some... No memory of what's what happened to me. But I'm slowly getting clues as to... To my, my identity and my existence. And I think that I, I may be... That's why I'm seeing all these weird things. Another projector slide. Where did I put these projector slides? I got two of them now. <laughs> nice. Uh, slightly weird. Was that supposed to be a swimming pool or something? 
A bath. to a door. There we are. Oh shoot, I'm stuck. Is this the is this the door that needs to be unlocked with the key? No. I need to find the door before I. There's nothing down there. Odd, strange, weird. Wait, there's a key in here, isn't there? That's right. Wait, where's the key now? Oh, there it is. In there and eat. No, not that one. Okay, right, so I guess I just gotta go in there and hope for the best. Can't get down there. So it sounds like it's in there. Okay, so this is meant to happen. But I can't leave, basically, because he'll grab me. He'll break my fingers. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, I can. I can smash through that. Right. It was disguised with a poster, which threw me off. Is there sub vessels are here? Yeah, okay, cool. A slightly strange floor design for the times. The celeb Leonali. Leonali. Contortionist. Oh, he can fit himself inside a barrel. Interesting talent. I can fit myself inside a barrel if I break my legs. National Hotel Cairo. Okay, right, so let's go in here, look for a. What did that do? Anything? Wait, what? What did it do? WTD number one. What's WTD? Oh, the door. Makes sense. Second class beyond. Waited something door. Who knows, eh? Who knows? I don't know anything about ships. Oh, look. Creepy douchebag down there. Of course, the only way is towards him. I'm brave. Go in there. Yeah. Ah! Made me light a match, you prick! Oh, it did scare me a little bit, to be fair. Door needs a key. Alright. Oh, I guess I can insert. What do I do? Go for here? Let's go for here, go for here. I don't know the table, mate. What are you doing? Get in there. I don't know the table. 
hide under the table. Hide under the table. Hide under the fucking under the table, you douche. Can't get past. Oh, I got me! Pleb! Why is this walking so fast? You're gonna shut the door, you knob! Shut the door! Shut the door! Shut the door! Shut the door! I hate buggy games when it comes to stuff like closing doors. Do you know what I mean? It's just an awful game. Thank you, if, if you guys, if you've been watching it this long. This game is f***ing awful. But we're gonna we're gonna complete it anyway. It's not great, but I mean, it's a horror game. Look, this is this is the reason why I say. Um, the horror game scene is just quite stale. That's why we get all get excited when big horror games come out because there's so many indie horror games that have potential to be really good, but the, the basics just, it lacks the basics. Now, this is buggy. This is like, this is really buggy, this game. Um, it's, chan it's janky, the controls are weird. The enemies are, well, the, en the enemies are classic kind of stereotypical horror game enemies. Uh, I'll finish it for the sake of the video and the series. Um, like, we'll do another part of this, but this is all I can stomach for today. I mean, the story is actually quite interesting. I'm actually following the story, but the gameplay is just, it's just not great. So, look, if you did like this video, leave a like on it. Comment down below what you think about this game so far, what you think about the plot. Subscribe if you're not already. And, uh, yeah, take care, guys, and uh, I will see you in the next one.